Hello, welcome back to programming with C++. In this video, we are going to look at uh, input. This video is uh, the second part to the input and output video in C++. So, uh, initially, in our first video, we understood that the syntax. So, let's come into the syntax for input in all, given the user the ability to input in C++ as seen. Followed by two greater signs, then the variable you want to keep the information. Mission. Then a semicolon. So let's try something. So let's declare variable of type int integer. So let's say int int h. Okay. All right. So another two. I set input for int h. You see, seeing h. So let's compile and run. Let's see what happens. So you have a case of blinking that is actually ready to take in data. So you see, but fine. Then it's stored. So now we have 45 stored in uh, the variable h. But um, as a programmer, Oh, it's a developer. Um, it's, it is good to uh, specify or let your users know the kind of data that is expected in your program. So, as such, um, we add C out here to kind of communicate an information to the user on what we expect. So, you say C out. And, uh, yeah, H. So, the yeah, this. Okay, sorry. So let's compile, let's see what happens. Compile error. So, let me press it from the key. Okay. So, this is anti age. So, this time around, the ESA knows what he used to, he or she is doing here. So, you say quote, right? We have it here. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's see, see out. Eight. Okay, so um, basically, um, this is going to give us the value that we have stored in this variable. Okay, so let's run the code and let's see. So, what's implied? To see, fine. So, basically, this here. Then press code. This is tells us to input the age. This takes in this line of code, takes in the input that is 45. Then this sends out the variable, the value that we have in the variable. Okay. So let's add some details here. Let's say, let's add a string here. So you can say that your age. I then close. This is customizing our code much so And this is so enter age as you say 85. Turn it's a red. See, your age is 85. So you need the space here. So what then we do? I'm to if we put a space here. Yes, this can do the work. You see. So let's see, send you go. The thing to be sent. Okay. Okay, so let's look at one thing here. Um, let's look at a new program with strings. Uh, so derived data type in C. So let's declare variable of type string. The name. Okay, so you say C out. They see me. So we see an thing. And you see C out to bring out the, the value that is stored in there. So you see C out. And A. So let's see what happens. Oh, where is the thing? And the name. 
So, okay, let me, let me space this out. And then name. Let's go down it. Let's. So it's and then name. So, tapes. Here, say stamps. Say this this adverse. So we could also add more details by saying. And then I saw what happens. So this is a Timus. The name the shapes. Okay. So what happens basically what is happening here is the screen part of it. So things. Shape. So basically, what is happening here is that we have a variable of type string name, and then we as we are done in the user that this is the kind of data that we want. So see out entire name. So we have entire name here, and then the scene takes in the name. So type the name here. Then this sees out the value that we have inside of this variable name. So the name. So let's try something here. See. Yeah, if we also look at about the end in the light, so we could do this. So we could. So basically, what is going to is that it's going to take a stick. So you can see enter name, but we don't have the Kaza down here, so you can see things. So it's the name shapes. That's okay. So let's let's see something where we, we want to enter two names. So let's compile it. So I see James, James Strong, say enter, but is that it just gives us James. So in order to um, solve this problem, uh, instead of using the scene, we use the function called get line in C. So you come here and you say, and this is what we do in order to get that problem. We come here, say, instead of scene, you say get by. And we have C in. Let me add. Um, this is the variable the variable name this thing. Okay, so it's in athletes. So this time we have dims. So, so this this color kind of dysfunction solves that in. You should have the ability to space out, but to have two names squeezed out in one variable, especially when dealing with strings. Thank you very much. That will be all for inputs and then outputs in C.